Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday, and the gang's back together. Yay! Hi, Oscar. Yay. Hello. Yay, Rob. Hello, Rob. America. Uh, one of the weird things about uh, this business of show that we're, uh, we're all in is that, um, you know, part of our jobs, uh, I ask people constantly, probably the number one question that we all get asked, what's the show about? What's mm-hmm. the show about? And it's, it's diminished from podcasting has become part of the uh, fabric of our lives more. So I'm getting less of, is it politics? Is it sports? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and I always say the, sta- the same pat answer, which is busting each other's balls, when what I really uh, should say is the show is about our lives, our feelings, uh, our mistakes, our successes, our loves. Our, it's about it just, what That's what a little long, on. don't you think? It's a little long just to do Just say, it like how about... That. I um, say three guys busting each other's yeah, balls. Yeah, or how, what funny. about uh, it's like Howard Stern without the sex or the success? That's that's very funny, but it's also you know in the uh, uh, in the land of branding. Yes, you know I, I don't want to mm. take second fiddle to anybody on that. It's a I'd rather have and really no disrespect to Howard who's second still fiddle a, to a Stern mega is a great percent. place to I, be. I think really if we're in the world of podcasting, uh, yes. we we should say it's like uh, Joe Rogan. Without the complete belief of every conspiracy theater uh, theory on the on the planet, um, but you know, I always the, discuss well, it. I always dis, uh, I say I explain. I say we're a, basically a one hour murder procedural show. What about we solve what, a crime what, every day? What about this? It's okay. like Info Wars without the info <laughs> and without the war. <laughs> uh, well, what I, my, my point is being that this is our lives yeah uh when something goes down regarding the show uh that's vastly significant in our lives yes. uh and we can't come in and vent about it and it, there was nobody telling me to vent or not to vent i there was no instruction no. given no, there was no i just was aware of a situation mm-hmm. uh yeah. that was especially day one, which was Monday, and we did a show on Monday, Yeah, was uh, you, neither Rob nor I nor anybody associated with the show had a, anything on their minds other than this guy right here. And thank you. Thank you. I, thank you. I had mentioned uh, to you, uh, didn't know until 10 minutes ago whether he wanted to come in and talk about it, but uh, – I told the truth when I said Oscar was under the weather, mm-hmm. but I really didn't emphasize just how under the weather. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Do, do you know? So. Do you know who sniffed <laughs> sniffed you out? Who's that? Our friend Reed Galen, who God bless his heart, was one of the only people that was kind enough to reach out. Uh, clearly, because no one knew I was sick, but Reed knew. He goes, "Yeah, I know radio guys. When they say someone's under the weather, something else is up, and you." You never miss a show unless you're on vacation. What's going on? Uh, That's it was good a big detective deal. work. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to kick it over to Oscar and uh, thank you. And and it uh, okay. This began Monday, and this is uh, this is something that was uh, on our minds all week. And uh, take it away. Oh, because we're, we're delighted. We are so happy to have you back. Beside really. ourselves. Yeah. Monday morning, I start my day uh, like every other Monday. This past Monday, today's Thursday. Um, I do 100 sit-ups and 100 push-ups just on a regular basis. That's what I do, right? Um, I'm lying about that. I do none of that. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, really? No, I don't do that. That's what really? I think JP Flame does. God bless him. Uh, he's still in great shape, and he's in his 50s, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. All right, you're, you're um, a better broadcaster. So <laughs> we say, I'm not I'd say that. that I, look, I'm JP's, not saying that. JP's a friend. Hi, I'd JP. say that if he was here. So um, we, um, we <laughs> I wake up. I, I actually wake up. 5.30-ish, 5.30 a.m., and I said, mm-hmm. well, I'll start the day. I wanted to catch up on a podcast, so I watched it on YouTube, and then I threw on MSNBC. Um, we had a scheduled rough, I think, 8.30 start that morning. Yep. Um, and I was like, you know, I'm going to surprise the guys and get to work on time today. 
isn't that going to be fun? Ta da! So, because <laughs> like, I had right. to, I, I know I did. I really sure felt that you way. will. I hit the shower at uh, seven twenty, mm-hmm. and I know it was early because my wife usually beats me to the bathroom because uh, we, by design, only share one bathroom because I'm frugal and saving yes. up for a remodel. Right, and. She said, how long? I was like, it'll be a quick shower, I promise. So she's sitting at the, like, like, uh, like you would, like any, you know, 90s or 80s um, commercial. When you have, like, your wife sitting outside uh, or sitting inside the bathroom, like, at the door frame, just sitting down, looking at her phone, waiting for me to be done with the restroom. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wasn't even, by done, I mean, I'm in the shower, doors open, and Shannon is just sitting in the hallway talking to me. Waiting patiently because there's really... No, el- uh, nowhere else for her to be in that size house. Correct. Right. Well, it's the only room she well, has. It, well, she wanted to. Uh, she wanted to jump in the bath as soon as I was done because we were going to ride into work together. Okay. So, and I said, "Hey, I want to be on time today. Let's go." So I'm in the shower, and uh, it's seven twenty, and she's like kind of bemoaning the fact that she goes, "I can't wait till we have another bathroom or another shower, and then we can both shower at the same time." I said, "Ah." First world problems, we're good. Like, and I'm not even annoyed by it. I'm just laughing about it. I was like, I'm, I take a shower in 10 minutes. I hit all, the, all, my, all my cracks and my creases, and I'm out. Very good for you. Yeah. Thank as you as for they the say de- on TV. I like, I like stories with detail. Like, yes, they have to have detail. As mm-hmm. they say on TV now with the all-over body deodorants, he hit his pits and his bits. Oh, I've never heard that before. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I, at this point, I say to Shannon, uh, and we're l- mapping out the day. We map out the day every day in the mornings. That's just that's how we do things. Like we're like, this is what's going to happen today. Uh, we have a calendar in front of us. We lay it all out, and it was not stressful. It was actually a great day, a wonderful um, the meeting set up, everything. And I start getting short of breath. And when you like, got out of the shower, you got short. No, of breath? while I'm in the shower, I said, do while you're turn- in the shower, do you, do you mind turning on the fan? And she, I said, I'm short of breath. She goes, Ah, oh, what? Fine. So she flicks it on. And at that point, I feel my, my, my speech pattern start to, to slow. And, and usually, you know me, like, I'm like, you fight through anything. Fine. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. um, and I was like, ah, I was like, I was like, I'm just going to So I turn off the shower. I think the steam was getting to me. I was like, this is strange. And at that point, I felt my heart rate go up just listening to this. I mm-hmm. felt the left side of my face start to go numb. And I said, Shannon, grab the blood pressure monitor. We have one of those little wireless ones you can get at the Apple store. So she runs downstairs, she grabs it, she comes back upstairs, and I dry off my arm and I throw it on, and it's like 150 over, like 150 something over 119, 120, my blood pressure. Yeah. My blood pressure on, even when I'm stressed out, I've done stress tests in the past, is 129 over like 89 at the highest. Yeah, that mm-hmm. bottom so, number is, is that's extraordinarily high for that. Yeah, so. How does that I, work if we can just, I and I hate to sure. be a dummy, but since we're talking about this, I, I, all I know is I have good blood pressure, but I don't understand blood pressure. Please, some, so what is the, the bottom number is, if the bottom number, it sounds to me like it's low, right? No, my, my, my number, um, excuse me, if my resting is 129 over like 89 or maybe even like 119 over 89, that's good, 129 right? over 89 is like, that's when, I'm, when I do a stress test. That's the highest it gets. Yeah, okay. ideal is 120 over 80. That's 120 like, over 80, which that's I'm the in that golden ballpark. standard. And yeah. you take your blood pressure and yeah. it's... And, it's a, and the 150s... 150. Oh, over, yeah, yeah, over, over one one. It fluctuated between 110 and 120, right? Okay. So the top number is like yeah, through the Yeah, I've roof. never seen that top number in my life. Right. From my okay. person. All right. Okay. Um, and Mike, the systolic pressure, the higher number, I thought this was right, but I double checked it, is the pressure during a heartbeat, like when it pumps. And then the second is your diastolic, which is the minimum pressure between a heartbeat. So when What it's is not the blood pumping, pressure on your router this morning? It was actually it's fine. It's fine. It tested perfectly. But anyway, that's what it is. It's uh, the higher number is when it's a beat, and the yeah. lower number is when it's not a beat. So, Rob, all right, go ahead. I'm sorry. The, ahead. Either right. way, he he um, he's right. Like it's that's high, and and you know it's if it's 
I'm pretty good about taking care of myself. I knew that was high for me, definitely. Uh-huh. And during that time, um, we, I, I said, I said, oh, I said, as soon as I saw the second reading come up, it's a wireless blood pressure. It's not something you like, you know, shh, 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 yeah, shh. Not no, a you, hit, you, hit a, you hit a button and it just goes. Uh, having this around, do you have this around for a reason that you have I, I this? I purchased in? it during COVID. Okay. Because right. during COVID, there was a big deal about your blood pressure and your blood oxy- oxygen level. So okay. I, okay. Like we, so ha- just, we had all this it, it gear around because like of that. It wasn't like you thought you might have something. No, so no. I was, I was lucky to have it around. Right. I thought you bought it for Santos. No, no. Okay. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, we bought it during COVID because we just, that was a big deal. Like, Tiny check your blood cup. pressure. All right. And, and um, I said, Shannon. I was like, this is high for me. This is this is off the charts. We have to go to the ER now. She said, what? I said, we have to go. Meanwhile, and you're this, still feeling numb. I'm still feeling numb. And this is, I made this, um, this evaluation went no longer than 10 minutes of like dry arm, blood pressure, time to go. We got to go. Mm-hmm. I put on pants. I put on a shirt, get dressed real quick. And Shannon does the same. She lets the dog out, and then I'm already downstairs, shoes on, uh, wallet, emergency card, everything, and keys. And I say, let's go to Shannon. And she says, but the dog's still outside. I said, leave the dog. I said, I, I, said, I, I was like, I'm effing dying. Um, and she goes, we can't leave the dog. So I just left. So I, I walked out. Good time for an argument. Jumped in the car <laughs> and drove to GW, I'm sorry, uh, Georgetown. By yourself. Be clear about this. I by myself. I drove to Georgetown um, Hospital by myself. Like amazingly, (laughs) Oscar, his blood pressure goes down during an argument. That's one of his calming uh, things. Mm -hmm. He that helps him out. Well, this is, and I got. I have to be real with our audience here. Um, there there is a level of like like do you want to live type of situation, um. And I don't want to, you know, even soft sell. It's like you, like I was lucky enough to understand that there's an acronym called Be Fast. That if you have all these different symptoms, and we'll put a little link up to give you exactly what they are. And if Mac, if you want to look them up, it's great. Just Be Fast. It's called. Um, I should Especially know them. Especially in the situation you're dealing with. Yes. So you have to be fast to recognize the symptoms and get treatment. I don't want to cause any trouble at home, but I'm yes. just going to ask this question. The reason. You drove was uh, because in your mind time was of the essence, or Times, you didn't time want was Shannon. The, no. what, what, why time was, was she not driving essence. you? She because just I was, left her. I left her. At the, I didn't even talk to her. I just walked out the front you door. You just said I got to deal with this. I have to go and save. Save like the longer this takes, the more damage will be done. You're aware uh, what your body's telling you at this point. Yes, because at this got point, the left side of my, I, which I didn't share. At this point, by the time I got downstairs, the left side of my body is going numb. My chest. Like, I can feel it going numb. Um, you know, in a, in a world where you're taking blood pressure and stuff, um, I would imagine that your, uh, your heart rate had to be off the charts because you're just, I mean, I would be freaked out. Are you, yeah. are you just going through this and processing it intellectually and not panicking? Or, I mean, I what's going panic. through your mind? I wasn't panicking. Okay, right. not because I, I'm I'm some sort of uh, superhero. It's just because I wanted. I knew if I would if I freaked out, it would have gotten worse. Okay, sure. So it was All very right. it was very surgical, clinical. This is what we have to do. These are the, the what I need to get, that I need to get done. I need to get to the hospital. Good lord. So the Volvo was out front. Uh, traditionally, traditionally, Shannon and I play this game. If she remembers where she parked the car, because we park on the street. Uh, thank God the car was out front. So when I opened the door, it was to the left. I said, then I didn't even say, I just closed the door and then left. You know where the nearest uh, ER uh, is? Georgetown University Hospital right up the road. is right. no less than a mile away from where we live. And we and are blessed a, and to a have that. Legendarily great hospital, too. So, it's a good one. You're um, lucky to have it. So I, so I jumped in the Volvo, drove halfway down that mile. Shannon calls me and she says, where are you? I said, I left. She goes, oh, I had to get the dog. And I said, Shannon, this is serious. I said, meet me at the hospital, uh, Georgetown University Hospital. The car will be outside. And she goes, what? And I hung up the phone because I couldn't talk. And oh, when, I, when, when I tell you I, I was telling her all this, this is what I remember telling her. She said that. She just heard. And then the phone hung up. 
Oh, my God. You know, you you get this uh, secondhand and, and you're hearing it, and this is the moment that I'm perceiving what this was. And I would have been more freaked out if I'd known. I mean, you hear it and you're freaked, but this has got to be, oh, my God. I mean, you just, and you say what you remember. Do you remember yes. all of it or does it get a little No, I sketchy? remember all of it. I just thought I was a lot clearer than I thought I was. So you're perceiving that you're speaking okay. Yeah, that's not that I know. I knew. I knew I had. Uh, you knew you were slurring. I knew I was slurring, but I thought I was a, a little more articulate than I than she said I was. She, she said she couldn't understand me. So, mm. um, I pull in, and Georgetown University Hospital just opened up a new wing, which is absolutely gorgeous. I was not aware of the new wing, so I'd been to the emergency room in the past because my mom had been there in the past, and my or my dad had been there, and um, I pulled into the wrong little. Um, but it's a roundabout. Yeah, turn and I there. see I see someone, and I'm like, oh, there's no emergency. There's no sign anymore there. I'm like, oh, they must have moved. And I see uh, somebody that's there, a student. I'm like, do you know? Do you know what I remember saying? Do you know what an emergency room where the emergency room is? And I could tell right away. That's when I realized that I wasn't speaking coherently. Oh my god! Because they looked at me like I was speaking a different language. And I said, oh, this is a problem. And then she pointed towards the other entrance, and then I just took off. So I arrive to the hospital, I double park at the emergency uh, turnabout, and I walk in and I realize at this point, because the student didn't understand me, that I wouldn't be able to talk to the front desk at check-in. So I asked them for a pen and paper and I wrote stroke. Can I ask when you left the car to get into the emergency room, Yes. how are you ambulatory how are you walking how is your balance is that affected because of the it's, numbness it's affected but it's but it's like i'm at this point i'm on adrenaline i got to get to that desk right? i understand i understand but yes. i felt my entire left side numb wow so i remember closing the door with my right hand with my right hand and not like regularly closing just like sh- sh- pushing it shut right you're tracking though already these are there are more moments where you're your own advocate uh, oh that yes it's it's amazingly Significant, and I think of the people that don't have a clue as to what's going on, and that's mm-hmm. uh, that's. I mean, this is keep that up there for the whole show, Mac. That's that's amazing. amazing. Yeah, um, so be fast, on. balance, eyes, face, arm, speech, time. Time is key. So, um, I write stroke, and then the, they ask me for like my ID, so I have everything. Like I pull it right out. Thank God. It usually, sometimes I don't even have my wallet with me, but yeah, I had it, and. Um, and I wrote my, I wrote, I have the note. It's, uh, it's my wife will be here soon she, uh, and she, she will take car. Boom. Because I had it right parked out front. You can see it through the glass. Um, I have, to, I, I owe a debt to, and I should give credit, full credit to the Georgetown University Hospital team because the way that I was managed as soon as they confirmed and it didn't take long that something was happening to, the time that they pulled me to the back was like an F F one crew. Like it was seamless. Be, as soon as I walk into the emergency emergency room, I check in, I write down stroke within three minutes. I'm in another room. Someone's confirming, um, what is what I thought was the stroke at the time, not to read ahead. Um, but still serious. And they say, okay, they said you're gonna about, you're gonna see a lot of people in just a few minutes. Uh, don't be alarmed, but this is what needs to happen. And within a few minutes, there's eight people, and I was on a stretcher, and they were like putting an IV in me, like setting me all up with the EKG, everything while we're moving to another room. It was incredible. Um, you know, just because I'm gonna freak out by listening to this, I wanted to make sure that we, you know, Oscar was uh, had the presence of mind on his phone when he first walked into the ER to uh to record the conversation that he had oh good and uh before we continue with that we've got a, a clip of that so uh, let's listen to this right now okay here we go god i'm alive your magic goes what <laughs> you're back I... yeah i mean you, you know when you showed me up you put somebody i'm sorry somebody <laughs> stuff in the wrong places so i'm i'm a little fucked up oh i'm sorry <laughs> well, i'm sorry, <laughs> well, that's not, that's not... i had to get 
I am. It's I, no, I it's sometimes react in a very bad way to these stories. So I, uh, I'm just ahead. glad Oscar mean? thought to record it. I, think I did yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I did not yeah. mean to interrupt. I um. Please go ahead. If I was a better, if I was a better, uh, I don't know. I, I hadn't even thought about recording it. That would have been pretty. Uh, no, I compelling. don't think I, I could give a rat's ass. I'm um, glad so, to have you sitting in that chair. Thank God. I'd so, like to hear some tape. I don't know what's so, wrong with that. <laughs> wow. So they so know I, immediately as soon as you get the message across in in a clear presence of mind way that I don't know how many people be able to do that. I mean, you're taking charge and being your own advocate in this moment of crisis. And as soon as they process, bam, they're on. Yes. You. Yeah. Full team. I, I, it was impressive. And at this point, um, I can tell you when it happened. So 58 minutes from when I started feeling symptoms at home to the point where they they looked at me and said, hey, we have this one drug. And they rattled off all of the, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the word for when things go wrong with drugs? Side effects? Side effects, yes. Thank you. Um, they rattled off all the side effects, and then they asked for my verbal consent. But they felt like it's a clock busting. Because they got to blast drug. you. And yes. they want you to know that, you know, there are potential risks yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, there are risks. And I gave them the thumbs up because I couldn't give them the audible confirmation. Mm-hmm. Because I couldn't speak, it was getting worse and worse and worse. Um, See, when I heard slurred speech from your wife, when I'm talking to her, my feeling was that you were perhaps um, had a little slurred speech. When in fact, you're 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 not able to communicate at this point. You're, yeah, I you're uh, this and this is during that time, and, and maybe my mind's messed up, but like a great level of stress was like by I would say. Uh, Lifted? Not, li, li, no, I don't know if it was automatically lifted, but it wasn't. It wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And the, that, that what that level of stress was. I have disability insurance that I have been paying for for the past like six years, um, in case something happens and I'm debilitated. Because because a, a big level of stress if I'm walking in there without that type of insurance would be like, how am I going to take care of my family? Right. Yeah. Yeah. If I can't talk yeah. or present right. or take care, like that was. So that, and, and I thought about, don't get me wrong, within that 58 minutes, I thought about that. I was like, oh my God. I know people that have, uh, you know, they've got just a couple of more months before they can get great insurance for a low price and uh, they let their other policy in 2023 lapse. Who How would do that? How stupid is that? They're yeah, responsible. Why, why would they do that? that? They must have hosted a podcast terrible. with a bunch of jerk it's stores. It's just ridiculous, yeah. man. Just to <laughs> save a few. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, so they're <laughs> staying at home wrapped in bubble wrap for three months. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I give them the thumbs up, and they hit me with this medicine. Yeah. And um, Which, by the way, they were, they were very clear to tell me that was not prescribed for this this specific use, but they have found tremendous success, though it has not been FDA approved, but they thought I was the perfect candidate for it. So they are, and I've, I've experienced this in, um, in the uh, time when I had a pulmonary embolism right. and these ER physicians, and this is a skill set, and I know you've got them in your family. The skill set is recognizing quickly what it is and making the call. Yes. You don't get that in a lot of medicine. Oh, in emergency no, medicine, no. you get it because they are not going to f around. They're, yeah, right. What, what what amazing human beings these people are. That's so awesome. At at the fifty eight minute mark, remember this started in the shower at home around seven twenty. So I'm at the hospital already about to get this shot within fifty eight minutes, which is incredible. Wow. wow! And they hit me with it, and as soon as they hit me, I could start talking. Bam. That Bam. fast. And I said, this can't work that fast. They said, it works immediately. And you're, you will get better and stronger. Now, it works. Um, here's another question I have. So they give you this. They still don't know all the details, but they, they don't know, know you're symptomatic details, yes. of having this oh, issue. I completely left out that during that time, I, got, I had a CT scan. During that time, they got well, one in that fast? Within, the, oh, within the fifty-eight minutes. Did you have the before CT they hit scan? Me with it. Oh, before they hit you, they, yes. they take, yeah. So they, you go in, they jump on you, they put you into CT. Uh, yeah, right immediately. away. Right away. Yes. Did they give you any contrast or anything like yes. that? Or did, okay, yes. so they shoot you with that to see yeah. all the vessels. They're giving correct. you a full blown correct. Uh, correct. 
So how did I miss that? I'm sorry. That's the where we first went. They set me up with all the IV, the EKG, everything right straight to the CT from the CT to the room where they were going to give me that shot or not give me that shot. And then they made the call to give me that shot. They gave me the shot, and I could start talking, and then they rushed me straight to ICU. I was thinking when you were talking about the uh, stress being lifted because you have uh, disability insurance, Mm -hmm. I was thinking, did any stress diminish when you knew you were in the place you needed to be? Did you feel, "I, I know I'm having this situation, but I am getting what I need to get? Did that... No. resonate with you at all i would love to say yes but no you're just because scared i was hope i was hoping it wasn't as serious as i thought okay. i was hoping i was overreacting okay all, all right. right i get it i get it but once okay. once answer. they throw the full team to at you you're like oh i'm not overreacting this might be more serious than i actually think mm. you know can and can i just say uh you know for the purposes of this show ladies and gentlemen this trifecta that we have here uh, I would say four guys, but we can't include Mac because of his health. I have to say that um, <laughs> the three guys that do much of the talking, this would be the last person that I would think would have a, uh, you know, you just, Oscar carries himself in such a way mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, this bigger than life swagger. Uh, so you don't process it. That. it no, was out of, no. It was out of left you field. Don't. Mm-hmm. So back to your, they give you this, uh, this medication and, Immediately, you that that that's I can, stunning. I, I can I, speak. A lot of people wouldn't know that. That's that's I can speak, and I, and I and I'm and the lisp starts going away. They describe it as a clot buster. Is that how that? Yes. I mean, as, yes. I mean, obviously, they, they, that's they not, said it's like a turbo terms, blood thinner. It, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, yeah, that's what it is. A turbo okay. blood thinner. Okay. Wow. So any clot buster, boom, yeah. boom, done. Um, so much so that like they keep you, um, basically, I was in it because I took this drug. Well, one. You know, they had to do all the tests afterwards, the MRI, and which I will get to in just a sec. But, yeah. Um, so as soon as they're done with the drug, they take me straight to the ICU. That new wing, um, let me just give it a plug. Mike, yeah, please yeah. do. It is, uh, it is next gen, state of the art. And I know that uh, most people in D.C., you know, have different opinions about the the actual hospital. I'm here to tell you that no... And not a not a cent was spared when they built this new wing at GW Hospital. Mike, uh, I was I was born sorry, at GW at, George, at, at, George, at Georgetown. 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 Where I was, that's the hospital why I keep, where I was You know why born. I keep saying GW is why? because uh, a handful of my doctors might be at GW. That's why I keep saying. Oh, okay, that. apologies. Yeah. They, a lot of these guys um, have privileges at the uh, multiple yeah yeah hospitals. yeah. So so but the Georgetown wing that just opened up this past um, I think this this fall. It's the it's the Verstanding Pavilion at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. That hospital, like it, it, it's that even the ICU suite, everything was just beautiful. The people were amazing. The doctors were a ten out of ten. Um, and I am also very lucky, and I'll tell you why, because I don't just walk around, uh, like remembering and or just like I'm not as uh, what is it planned and um prepared as as most would think we're all just humans i don't just know be fast i know be fast the balance eyes face arm speech time when you're thinking about i didn't know it before this show started Mm -hmm. i didn't know it. i'm probably the one that should know it the most i i knew what to look for because i remember distinctively riding in in the car with one of my siblings whether it was my brother-in-law, who's uh, you know a pedi- pediatric intensivist, or my sister-in-law, who's a cardiac anesthesiologist, someone in a car was talking about what, just anecdotally, as just a regular conversation, what to look for if you're ever having a stroke. And I just had remembered that conversation of like, oh my God, this is what's happening. Get me the blood pressure. Get me, like, this is what's happening to my face. I have to go now. Like I just, I, but I remember being in the Cape and they're explaining to us like what to do in case something happens or if a colleague is feeling this at work, if somebody was explaining it to me. Um, and, let's go through it real quick here yes. because, uh, balance, Please. uh, watch for sudden loss of balance, eyes, uh, check for vision issues, uh, double, vision, loss, vision. Yes. double mm-hmm. vision, okay. uh, the, the face, 
look for – I'm having trouble reading this uh, up close, guys. So Yeah, uh, I can give it to you. Uh, the, the, look for the, uneven smiles, so like drooping on the face. Like face, kind of yeah. Like yes. the, the joke that we were playing yeah. with Ted yeah. before. Arm. Check if your arm's weak. Okay. Or arms are weak, one of the arms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speech. Uh, um, listen speech. for slurred speech. That yeah. was a big one. And time. Uh, call nine one one, which right you away. did yeah. not do, but it probably got you to the ER in this particular situation. That I was a want, calculated wanna, risk. You don't, you don't want to drive yourself. I want to yeah. emphasize. Yeah. he was less than a mile away. Yeah, I, he doesn't recommend that. But no, no, no. Do not drive. Do Look, not drive. I've always said when you're in a situation, uh, the only thing you can be is a little embarrassed if it's something that turns out to be nothing. But in most cases. Uh, you you don't even take that into account. Just call nine. They were very clear. If I had not arrived within a four hour window, because most this I mean that's what this drug window is. That the the outcome would have been completely different. You would have been a you know probably still in the hospital looking at a rehab stint, uh, yeah. looking at all this stuff, the fact that they, you've heard it. I did know that. I didn't know the be fast. I didn't know that. Uh, but I did know that time is of the essence with this particular uh, yeah. condition. Yeah. And it's just, it, yeah. It's and for amazing. every the doctors that work on this are special people. They really are. And, and to my, my fellow, um, stubborn listeners of this wonderful podcast and, and radio show. Look, the last person that wants to deal with anything like this is your boy, Fantana. But you got to swallow your pride and you just got to get in there and get it done because, there, you know, your, your, time, your recovery time exponentially grows the longer it takes to, or you might not have any, right? You just right. might not make it. It's a uh, good time to stop with this. We're yeah. going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, I... Uh, uh, I want to cover a bunch of different things. I want to cover what happens uh, as soon as they uh, get you this medication. And then the whole thing begins with analysis and what's going on. I want to talk about your family members who are in the medical profession, mm-hmm. how they were dealing with this. All of this going on and on and on. And uh, we'll continue with this uh, amazing story when we return right here on the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. This portion of the program brought to you by Legacy Box. Let's talk Legacy Box, shall we? Just like us, you're going to love it. Do you know where your box of old home movies is? Have you checked that box in a while? Do they teach you that here? You want to make sure that they aren't too hot, damp, or molding. Ew. Uh, Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, hot and molding, uh, Michael, when the trash bags are put three inches from the trash barrels on the side of our house and there are critters down here, uh, get your act together. He's so he just got close to the cans. Yeah, not came in. Out. I see garbage in the yard, and it's because he put the uh, uh, you know on the other side of the uh, little split unit on the side of my house. What are you doing? Anyway, back to Legacy Box. Please. Every day, your home movies, your photos are slowly fading away. But Legacy Box is easy. Load your Legacy Box with your old tapes, film, and pictures, and send it back. You get it back on a thumb drive or on the cloud, ready to watch and easy to share. It's so simple, it's like magic. Preserving your family's heritage is the only way to ensure your legacy is safe for generations. Join over one million families that have trusted Legacy Box. Don't wait. We've all used it. You can see young Oscar playing with his teddy bear Ted, teenage Mike fishing in Maine, and young Rob uh, binge-watching Lawrence Welk. To battle the loneliness that permeated his existence. So sad. All in digital perfection. For a limited time only, you can visit LegacyBox.com slash TMOS and save 50%. That's LegacyBox.com slash TMOS for 50% off. This sale won't last long. Um, We're talking to Oscar about uh, the emergency medical condition that he had on a Monday Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. He is back with us. He yes. is back in the fold, and we are talking about uh, stroke and how to treat it and what he went through, and uh, we take you back to Georgetown University Hospital where Oscar is in the emergency room, and uh, they've yeah, CAT scanned you, and you're in the, now yeah. you're in the ICU. Yeah, yes. They have given you the clot buster. Uh, immediately there was uh, improvement, 
And uh, Mac, I want to keep that up for the whole damn show yes, today. Until we do. Put that up there because sorry, this I was is, getting uh, a better. One. That's oh, there thank you, you. I appreciate that. So back to the uh, the situation. You go to this great new ICU. And, Why don't you cut uh, off St. Mary's? They're not paying a dime to this place. You are, <laughs> you are, <laughs> you are in the ICU. You're in contact with doctors. This is after they've given you the clot buster and you've had the CT scan. Take it from there, please. Okay, so um, the clot buster hits you, and then I, I like as I said, you, you literally, I, you, I, I'm able to speak, and I, and they give you. At the, during this entire time, you're getting a t- like a ton of repetitive cognitive tests. Uh, whether it's answer these questions or say, you know, re- recall what a button is or what's this, a watch. Like it's a constant barrage of these. And they said, so it's they can get a- monitor your progress and make Correct. sure you're not backsliding. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. And then also, like the, the, I guess, uh, your motor skills to like touch certain things on a device. It, it, it was impressive. Uh, I'd so fail I could that. tell. I could tell that was getting better, especially with my left with my left arm, uh-huh. because I I couldn't feel my left arm. By the time I was in on the the gurney, I could not feel my left arm. Like I was like, this is not good, uh, no bueno, as my mom would say. You know, your, um, your wife kept us informed and uh, let us know, but uh, hearing what the details were yeah. and just how bad it was uh, is just. It's kind of sobering. It's now I'm experiencing the what I didn't experience the other day. As soon as it was like bam, 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 search speech. They got him in the medical. Inter- he's uh, he gave him uh, the medicine. He's doing better. So quick it seemed to me. And now yeah. if I, uh, it's very good. Shannon, if you're listening to this right now, I'm going to tell you this was very, very. I, I just you didn't need to. It wasn't your responsibility. But may I just say thank you, thank you for not sharing any of this with me. Thank you very much. I truly, truly appreciate it. I, I, I functioned, but I, I wouldn't have been able to function at all. And uh, it, I, that's a, it's not about me. It's about him. Hearing this right now, my, ta- my chest is tightening. Just You're hearing fine. what uh, was – I didn't know You're that you fine. couldn't feel your left arm. You can't feel it uh, before the clot buster or you can't before feel it – Before the clot buster. Before yeah. the clot buster. Okay. Yeah. So when you get it, when your clot buster hits you – they give you that same test right away, and then I can start answering these questions, and I can hear myself now speaking a little clearer. You, and before you were saying when you were slurring, I you weren't aware. Deep, yeah, you weren't yeah, aware yeah, that yeah, you were doing that. Yeah, yeah. But they, but they could. By the time I got to the hospital, I realized that something was still off. Right. Yeah, I want to ask this question about when you first had these symptoms. When you had this, did you feel? Uh, the, uh, the you hear it a lot about COVID, uh, the brain fog. Did you hear where you felt out of it? Did you feel out of it in in any way? Obviously, you can't speak. You're 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 feeling numbness. Did you feel like zoned out in any way when this was going? No. On? Okay. I did not feel zoned out. I felt a, a, a tad bit of frustration. Okay. Of like f like this is happening. Okay. Yeah, and also but, I can only imagine if you in your head are making sense. Yeah, and you're looking at someone that is not understanding you. Mm-hmm. That's got to be mentally horrifying. Oh well, yes, especially when someone, the first person that sat me down, I was so like, I because you can't speak, right? Right. The first person that saw me said, "Do you speak English?" <laughs> oh, no. I want to make it. I want to make it really, really clear here, Oscar. You are forty-five. You're forty-five. Yes. The only family member that I've dealt with with this serious a situation is also an individual in their 30s and 40s. So for those of you that think we're putting this up for older folk, which is the way most of America thinks of stroke, uh, be aware. This is for everybody listening to us right now. Yeah, this is man, man, woman, whatever you identify as, like this is it, like you have to know this so they're happy, for yourself or your loved ones. They're happy, obviously, with the uh, cognitive tests and the tests they're doing because they yes. know the medication that they put you on. Regardless of what happened up in the Correct. noggin, you're Correct. responding well to it. Go ahead. Yeah. And um, so at this point, they said, OK, you're going to we're going to put you in the ICU. You'll be there for the minimum of 24 hours, maybe as long as a week. Um that's what they're they're setting me up for, but they said minimum twenty four hours, highly unlikely, but 
but you also got here so fast, there's an outside chance that your recovery will move fast. Right well, I had, uh, when that happened, I had spoken to uh, one of the doctors, and he said, uh, maybe a whole week. I said, unacceptable. <laughs> yes. no. We need him Friday. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, and he, um, so, and, and the doctor, uh, Dr. Berger, um, she was phenomenal. She just said. What, uh, a female doctor? Yes, yes. Are you yes, sure it well, wasn't a nurse? After all these, all these years. Jesus Christ. I don't know if it actually flies anymore. Oh, yes. Eh, maybe just a little bit funny. No, no, I don't think it does. <laughs> okay, Jeez. I withdraw the Especially, remark. I have multiple si- uh, female, <laughs> a sister and sister-in-laws who are doctors yeah, I got, at the top like, of their game. I'd like to see the paperwork on that. Okay, so, all right, stop it. Um, it's my... My 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 logic was okay. We were out of the woods, but now we have to find out how to how to fix this, how to stop this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know. There's there's certain there's a certain level of oh god, is it is it? You you kind of take inventory of like what you're dealing with. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're like, why am I dealing with half of the BS I'm dealing with in my life? This is crazy. Because it doesn't matter how much money you make or what you like, what the possessions you have. Like you, like if you want to live your life, like you got, you start taking an inventory of like what is important to you. Um, and you know, for me, it was nice. It was wonderful having my wife there. She was, she's, she's, she's the 10 out of 10. She was very, she have anybody with her while, while she was dealing with all this. Did she, was there? My parents along? came up. Your parents came up. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Not Dan O'Brien. No, no, no. Um, okay. and then, um, and then, you know, of all people who showed up and I, I, I don't even know why I even questioned it or, or, or thought twice about this. Uh, Foxworth. Really? Your buddy. Yeah. You're a good buddy. Yeah. yeah good You're buddy. Good. You're a good buddy. Yeah. Uh, he came in and I was, I was like, I was like, he doesn't have to come up. And he came in and he was like, he didn't, he, he rode his bike over. Did you was, roll over he, there, Rob? I did not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's got enough to deal with. He doesn't see his friend in the hospital. He's like, <laughs> Depends on the friend. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. So... <laughs> Another assumption I made, you know. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I never Thank talked you. to you about that. I never asked you that during mm-hmm. the whole thing that was uh, no, going you're right. on. I never thought right. about it until right now. Good That's okay. For it. It, it, Very uncomfortable. It, that was a legitimately it, uncomfortable pause on the show. It was. It was. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally, it's totally good. Um, and in fairness, it would... That type of stuff stresses me out more than anything else. Like too many visitors or anything that I just want to get through. Well, I mean, the it, look steps uh, from down here. Uh, yeah. Monday, um, as soon as the show is over, uh, mm-hmm. I went in and I'm looking at uh, at flights. Rob yeah. and I had had a conversation yeah. about mm-hmm. because uh, if you had been admitted for yes. the the week, that was you know different story. Different. That was no, I get, a, I get, a totally it. I get a different it. story. And I was, I get it. you know, I was, I was gonna come up and see what was going on, and uh, you know, give me the manual. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, so. so they, my, she had company. We had company. Um, uh, Charlie, Bernie, uh, but thank you. So like, the level of support, and um, we don't ever talk about her, but Elizabeth Elson and Robert Ford took over the entire business and didn't even squeak or say a thing or no issues, nothing. And that's when you know you have like a magnificent team that mm-hmm. just like, boom. And we had... I can give had, this guy, you know, crap here, yeah, but old Rob, yeah. uh, you know, and Mike McIntosh, you know, it was seamless. Thank there you. was no... Yeah, I don't, I don't and, ever question them because I, I know that yeah. I know that you guys will well, come through. What's the way we do it. I mean, it's... Yeah, a, a, and we've been through side. this before, right? Yeah. But we've never been through this on the Podville side. Right, right. With, with the they, International Spy Museum coming through. They jumped ESPN, in. like everybody through, and they just didn't even question it. Yeah, and let me go ahead and done. underscore the fact, Mike, that every day I visited the listeners. Thank you. That was so ham handed. I did. I didn't miss that, but but I'll take it. I'm Thank happy you. to be here for. That. I will say this. I don't know what how Rob was uh, feeling. That was 
and I've been I've been on the air for a million different things. That uh, when you don't know and what's we really going on, that is one of certainly one of the most, if not the most difficult uh, show. Mm-hmm. to focus on i had yeah, a I lot was, of trouble i was happy i was super I happy you guys focusing. did a show I, w- I had trouble focusing simply because yeah. i just wanted to know yeah and yeah, yeah. uh it's so hard for certain people myself included not to be uh a nervous nelly i let the whole day go by and it's four ish uh when i finally called uh shannon and then uh, she didn't pick up, and I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. "Go on, why isn't she picking?" Up? And then she calls me right back, and that's when uh, you were already in the ICU. Yeah, they'd given you the medication, yeah. and uh, you are. Uh, I remember hearing the, uh, the the symptoms have diminished because of that. So you're in the Correct. ICU, and you're being check, check, check. What's the next Correct. step in? Uh, so in your a- MRI, right? So you go through the MRI. What's the difference um, between the CT and the MRI? Uh, well, the CT is something that, that, you know, for me at least kind of similar, right? They're kind of similar. Yeah. One is it like, you know, a, a larger tube quick in and out and yeah. the MRI is when they put the cage around your, your head, at least if you're doing your brain. Okay. Yeah. And right. then is the CT there. scan as loud as an MRI? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not, yeah. Scary. Scary. Not at all. Scary. Headphones. No. Um, I asked them to put on the Michael Mara show when they asked me what kind of music I want to listen to. Did you really? Yeah, and they're like, oh, we haven't integrated podcasts yet. I said, well, it's 2024. Yeah, come on, get do. with the program, yeah. Look at, um, look at these beautiful ICU suites. Come on. So they, uh, this is what, this is, so they've come to a conclusion of of what happened. Um, it's called a transient, transient. The TIA. It's just, yeah, TIA, but I'm trying to pronounce it, which is something ischemic. I couldn't do before. Ischemic, thank you, attack. Transient ischemic attack, a TIA. It is a mini, it, the way it was explained to me, and you correct yes. me if I'm wrong, uh, a mini stroke. Correct. It's, a, it's um, a tiny stroke. Yeah, and as the Mayo Clinic says here, as a short period of symptom similar to those of a stroke, it's caused by a brief blockage of blood to the brain. Mm-hmm. That's it, and that's what a stroke is. It's cutting off blood supply to the brain. That's what the whole yes. enchilada, this is, uh, uh, you know, Shorter in duration, no less terrifying, yes. uh, and, and no less deadly, right? No so, less deadly, right? Um, God Almighty! Wow, wow. The response is still be fast. Yeah, hundred percent. Because you have to get on top of it. Well, and I mean, they can call. Uh, you know, it, it's less than the full blown, but all of your symptoms were similar to same. a major yes. stroke yes. situation. Yeah, yes. yeah. So they and, don't they don't mess around with it. You're being treated now the same way they would treat somebody who's suffered correct, a stroke. Correct, correct. And um I, I want to underscore that this medicine could not be given to me if it was uh post four hours. Like if it was if it was a past a four hour from my initial okay. symptoms, they couldn't give it to me. Very limited time window. And and before yes. we uh, we're gonna take another break here, but yes. before we uh uh, break. I want to know why can't they? Uh, why can't they? They do that because the risks are too high of uh, of just the brain bleed. Yes. going off in a different correct, direction correct, and correct. killing it in that case. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right, we're going to take another break, Rob. Uh, okay. When we come back, uh, I asked if uh, Shannon had uh, a support network. Oscar said his parents were there, so of course that means no. And we will come back and uh, we will ask all the questions and. Oscar comes from a medical family. I know there's more information to come. Man, oh, man. What a, what a day and what a week. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. Are you ready to shed 26% of your weight? Let's go. Germglowskin.com <laughs> is the ultimate destination for conquering your weight, ladies and gentlemen. I've proven that. Uh, this week, a brand new low weight. Not sure. I uh, did not weigh myself this morning. Uh, never do the morning after bowling. 
Uh, just take a quiz on the website and discover if you're qualified. Experienced doctors will prescribe the right medication, and your weight loss solution will be delivered directly to your doorstep. Tired of waiting due to low stocks? Dermglow ensures that you are connected with well-supplied doctors, eliminating any delays. It's a great time to start from now until March 15th. You can get a $300 discount on your terzipatide subscription. So act fast, and now your medicine can even be shipped to Puerto Rico. Muy bueno. Please join the 50 people that have taken advantage wow. of this opportunity through dermglowskin.com. We are so happy. Carl and I are both thrilled that uh, people are experiencing life-changing results. I just got a job outside of a car dealership standing above a blower and waving at passing traffic. And I'm orange. That's thin, Arthur. What is that? What was that that's one? That's the little the guy thing that goes, that goes like, like this. Oh, that's... He's thin. Yeah. 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 Yes. I can do the visual for it yes, right there now. You go. Uh, kick the weight loss button at Dermglow Skin and uh, kick off the best journey of your life. It certainly has been for me because with Dermglow, uh, you can do it. We're talking uh, today to uh, our uh, one of our loved ones, ladies the and gentlemen. Still uh, the bloviator. still alive. The Bolivian bloviator. Um, I, I'm, I'm taking one thing away from this show today that as much as I was concerned, as much as I was worried, I strangely just am more freaked out now hearing this story. It is I scary terrible. in retrospect. It really, it really is. is. And and your wife, God love her, and your mom and your dad. Yeah. Everybody is uh, venturing in. Yeah. I, I am curious, and this popped into my head early on. I am wondering, having uh, in this particular circumstance, having a medical family, your father, your brother, your sister, their yes. significant others, yeah. Is that a help or a hindrance when you are dealing with this situation? I'm it's an curious. extreme uh, advantage okay. because they allow you to ask the questions that are necessary to process next steps at a faster rate. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a, it, it, that's the best way I can put it. It's Every time put, the doctor came it. back in, we had a list of questions for the doctor that were not questions that I would ever have in my life. Okay. I'm not a trained physician, so. That's an and, amazing, amazing arrow to yes. have in your quiver. Wow. So, so uh, between the time you arrive at the ER, and if you don't have the timeline, I'm fine with that too, and fine. the time you are given the result of a TIA, this is mid-afternoon, I'm assuming, when you no, find No, I'm out. not given the TIA till the next day. The next day. Okay, oh, you yes. get. Oh, that's right. Because you, the symptoms went away in the afternoon. We were, we went when we were notified. Yes, at yeah, about right, four or right. five o'clock when I talked to Shannon. It's not till the next day when these next test day. results uh, Correct. come in. It come in, and you find yes. out you uh, you had this TIA. Yeah. Take it. Uh, from I did me. have a nurse ask me if I was when everybody was out of the room if I was using illicit drugs, which I thought was interesting. That is. What did interesting. you tell her? Well, because yeah, like. Said, uh, Blow right, cocaine yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Um, I don't know if I look like a cast member from Narcos, but <laughs> I thought that was interesting. I my never... reply: my, Were I you, Oscar? If she asked me that, I say, "All right, let me be clear: use or sell." <laughs> <laughs> See, I do it differently. I, of course, I'm a dialectician, so I would yeah. look and I go, "What is that supposed to mean?" <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so so the nurse did the nurse do this? Was this protocol or, or did she, was it protocol? I don't think it was protocol. She just and was kind of uh, curious uh, with the well. And I by mean, the way, if I, that's a Celsius they put down in front of you, I'm going to break the no, person's no, no, arm no, that brought no, it to you. No more Celsius. Thank in my you. Life. Yes. Uh, by the way, I just have to interject this, Oscar. Yes. I, uh, Rob, maybe you've been aware of this too. Uh, people have in the past. Express concern about the amount of these. Uh, they have, yeah. they have, these they drinks. have. Absolutely, oh, yeah. they have. And okay. and and I, you know, I could have done it to myself. Yeah. Because that even that afternoon, I pounded two Celsius back to back, and I did feel, if I'm looking back at it, a little like, oh, my chest is a little tight, but I didn't think twice about this it. This is okay. a throwback to life. when Mike was talking about health insurance. I can't imagine someone habitually drinking a liquid that would harm them, even though people tell them to stop. Yes, that is true. That is true. 
Alcohol. <laughs> what are you talking about? Darling alcohol. Uh, so you're in the, there, but, you get the TIA, yeah, take yeah. it from there. Well, no, I don't get the diagnosis. Yeah, the on TIA, the next yeah. day you get the yeah, uh, right. But I get, I, this is what happened during that time. You get an MRI, you get another CT scan, you get a ton of blood work done. Um, that's when the nurse asked me, what she, when she was taking my blood work, she said, she goes, uh, are there any illicit, sir, are you using any illicit drugs? And I said, I said, well, won't the blood test tell you? I was like, no, but the blood test will tell you. And she said, yes, I just like asking so we can start looking for it now. And you're so young to have had something like this happen. Mm. And you're, um, you're not obese and you're see, fairly healthy. Okay, so uh, that can be two things. That, that, that somebody that uh, really gives an S. Yeah, uh, she cared. And that's why she's asking yeah, that question, yeah, she and cared, she's she just uh, trying to give you I just thought uh, it was funny better yeah. care. because I wanted to give her, like, a funny answer back. But you don't want it with that. But I, but I was like, no, no. But then I realized when, like, we became friends when they're seeing you every 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, in the morning when she woke me up, she said, uh, she goes, how are you feeling? Same lady. Um, she's great because I had a, a different nurse o- overnight. Right. Um, and I said, I said, great, but every time I drink some water, it, it dribbles out the left side of my mouth. Is that normal? <laughs> and her eyes. Oh, you're, you're effing up. with her at this I'm point? I'm just messing with her. Oh I'm my just messing God. with her. There you go. Now, that's, that's to me, that would that's be the huge. moment that I would, yeah. oh, he's yeah. back. He's yeah. back, you know, because yeah. you're doing a Johnny moment. I'm just, I'm, yeah, Johnny. I'm just doing it. No. Yes. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Yes. And and I and Mike Oscar, I think that you'll agree with me that as someone who's spent as much time in hospitals as I have, not only for myself but for my son, the nurses are where it's at. They are heroes. They, yes, and, and it, it's amazing what they do. I disagree. Ah! Um, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Brave, yes. Mike. And, very brave. Yeah. And, that, and Shannon was the no. One you were I the brave that. one to say that. that <laughs> that's very brave. That's very. Brave. Shannon was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, I'm just doing shtick." And she said, "She said it's not time for shtick." Um, she, she goes, I'm oh, thinking she goes, about stick right now with this conversation with Rob. It's just like, you know, there goes Rob making that controversial statement, you know, because so many people hate them. Well, uh, but, I, think, uh, no. I don't think they get enough. That's, uh, enough that's, that's silly. That's so silly. she, about that, once I, once I gave her that joke, she knew like every, like you, she's like, oh, she's like, yeah. you have a funny sense, sick sense of humor, but funny. Right. Yeah. Um, and she goes, gallows, I think they call it. She was a little foreign. I said, yes, they do call it that. I was like, but if you, I said, if you don't laugh, you cry. And then she started laughing and walked out. Two just quick takeaways. One, uh, just pro tip for any love and love, loved one or family member that comes in to, to visit, if you're visiting the ICU or hospital room. Um, my parents, I love them. You know, my dad's a physician. He had the right questions as well. My mom. Oh, and this is when you know your parents love you, and I might get a little choked up here. Okay. Mm. My parents showed up with my medical records from when I was a, a, a toddler and then in, in the, the, uh, until I was 15 from the heart murmur that I had as a child. Wow. And they had the records still in this little manila envelope to show the doctor. I love that. That's I love great. That. That's, that's fantastic. That's, yeah. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, you know, and, mm-hmm. and really for any of you that want that kind of love from your parents, I can tell you, if you manage every Christmas to give them a decent enough check, you can get that love <laughs> as well. See, that's well, getting you better, buddy. That's ca- that's the kind of comedy that's going to get you better. Well, yeah, you got to think about it. You might be surprised that two I've older paid people, into that love. like two older people, made that trip to the hospital, but they need to because that's a source of income. <laughs> they need him to live. So great and yeah. uh isn't that so sweet with their manila, manila envelope that's beautiful with 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 not i'm sorry it was a folder right. and then these like old pieces of paper in there but it's Yellow relevant because it, yeah. it's vascular it is relevant it's they were so and- excited they were like oh my god people usually don't even have these on record they lost them they don't know what 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 was your what mom like when she was. first walked in what was uh what was that experience like was um she, uh, she was she uh i had what is funny is I had shaved my beard over the weekend mm-hmm. not for no other reason than I was trimming my beard and I mistrimmed. So that. I was like, oh, I got to start, I got to start from scratch. Yeah, Thank done. God done. you shaved before you got that blood thinner. Mm-hmm. And, and then my mom walked in at first. She was like, I thought I had the wrong room because she, that's her first thing. She goes, the I beard. thought I was in the wrong room because yeah. I didn't have the beard. And then she's like, oh, she goes, you skinny. 
the beard make you look fat. And I said, I said, first all right, thing, mom. Like, Yoli. first thing she said. Love you, Yoli. <laughs> Love wow. you. No filter. No filter. She and makes then, the coffee, but it doesn't go through yeah, anything. Yeah, right. yeah. And then she said, then so we get there. And at this point, this is like the third time Dr. Berger is coming back. And she walks in and my dad, he's great. He knows, he plays his position, he stays back. And the doctor's talking to me. And if you, I, for everybody at home, picture this. Like there's a crowd and I'm laying down the whole time. I can't sit up for 24 hours because of this medicine. I also cannot sit up. I have to sit down. I have to be, I have to be stretched out, laid out okay. for 24 per- Perpendicular hours to the floor. Yes. Yeah. I went to the bathroom in a little canister. Yep. Like because... Not a catheter, but a little jug because I couldn't, you couldn't stand. They it's just not a big stand deal. Up. I've no. done it since yeah. the show started. Not, not, a, not a big deal. And if you ask, they let you keep it. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and they, the, the, my mom, so imagine like eight doctors and, and internists and residents doing rounds all crowded around me. And all I see is this little folder, manila folder, get shoved between two doctors like be from behind, like a magic trick from behind two people to Dr. Berger, who's leading the conversation. And she goes, he, uh, she goes, I heard cheer. Like instead of here, she said cheer. <laughs> and, uh, and she goes, excuse me. goes, these are his medical records when he's baby you need, and just gave it to Dr. Berger. Wow. And it's so like, it made me, first of all, my mom's pushy. God bless her. Um, but also the fact that she like, I was like, I'm going to give these records to this doctor now so she can't miss them and they can't be misplaced. Boom. It was so funny. And yeah, I was like, I'm sorry. My mom's like, she goes, no. She goes, thank you. These records are fantastic. And meanwhile, my dad's like, Yole, Yole, Yole. And you just hear him in the background. Let them do their job, Yole. <laughs> Get over here. Stop it. So the, I guess the pro tip I want to give one is if you have records, bring them. They definitely help. And they helped in this case because there's also an outside chance I might have this like one in five people have this little hole in their heart that they're going to figure out if that's the case and that's totally treatable and fixable. Um, but my mom gets hungry because that's what we do in our family when we're stressed out. Right. So my, my wife goes down and gets some, goes with them to get them food so the doctors can finish looking at me. How's she doing during this whole room. thing? How's, how's Shannon, Shannon doing? Yes. She's great. Mm-hmm. I think she's actually sad that I didn't go. <laughs> Because <laughs> Oh my God. Oh she doesn't my really God. seem that happy. Like Ugh. I didn't really get like a hey, lot of joy of like we're gonna come out of this. Carla references it constantly. I I totally understand. You know, yeah, they, uh, they 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 think about the future. Yeah, they're like, sure. oh man, I know there's a big payout at the end of this, but <laughs> Jesus Christ! But I she, used to um, make Carrie laugh a lot. Now, really, only the time I can make her smile is when I talk about the end. <laughs> that <laughs> that she yeah. likes. Good time to stop again. Sorry, yes, just want to get it all in. I want to yes. get. I want to yes. not disappoint our people that require us to do that. We will take a short break. Uh, lots more to cover on this because uh, we haven't gotten to the diagnosis. Uh, the it's diagnosis. Yeah. What he's going to do. And uh, all I heard was lifestyle changes. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, does that include punctuality? We'll find that out when we come back right here on uh, the Mike O'Mara Show. Every fall day. Wallets, anyone? Ha ha! You bet! The Groove Wallet is a sleek aluminum low profile wallet engineered for everyday use. Simple thumb up motion. You just put, you fan it out. You fan your card up. It's uh, your cards. One simple thumb motion. Great for a hospital. Does it. That's I, I thumbed up. Yep. And there was my insurance card right. and my license. I thumb up Cigna. now. And my credit cards come out and my Costco membership card and a little bitty gap where the insurance card used to be <clears throat> until June. Anyway, uh, wrap. Groove Life just launched their new carbon fiber wallet, which has everything you love about the original Groove Wallet, but with the added carbon fiber included. And Groove Life makes a ton more than just wallets, and they've got belts, rings, watch bands, AirPod cases, and much more. Listen, pal. 
2024. You still using the same wallet from 2004? Now is the time to update your wallet game with Groove Life. Head to GrooveLife.com slash TMOS for 20% off all Groove Life products. That's the best offer you're going to find, but you have to use my link, GrooveLife.com slash TMOS for 20% off off your order. Now, tomorrow on our bonus show, I want to give you a little uh, heads up on this. Mm-hmm. We will be uh, uh, playing some of the uh, more extensive tapes for uh, Oscar's uh, bit of a stay in the ICU. Yes. Good. We'll have Thank that. You. Thank and, you. Uh, Rob, Thank you know what I'm looking for. So, uh, exactly. that's your homework assignment. And I appreciate that in advance. All right. Back to you. Uh, yeah. Your parents are there. Your wife is there. Any conversations with the siblings? Uh, the medical oh, multiple, siblings? Multiple. Multiple. Everyone multiple. called. They talked to the doctors. It was, I felt like I was in great hands, and and you know, it's just a matter of time to to get to get to the the cause of this TIA, and it's going to take a, a few months. I think um, I'll see I'll see my doctor here in, in two weeks. It looks like within two weeks. As a follow up, I've talked to them on the phone a couple times already. Uh, I'm cleared to um, come back. I'll probably take a for the you know next few weeks, half days mm-hmm. to see how this goes. But within a couple of weeks, I should be back to like full force. Awesome. Um, my, you know, the TIA uh, situation was something I'd never even thought about in my life. I know what a stroke is, but I never mm-hmm. had heard about what a TIA is. And there's also, um, I always talk about, I just in business or in life or in anything like, we talk about it here. You just want a chance to fight. That's all you ask about, right? Like you are like a solid chance to like rectify the situation. And in my case, the, the, my, my labs show that I need to change the way I eat. All right. Let's, let's uh, okay. deal with that uh, yes. elephant in the room. Because uh, as you said, the one thing I have learned uh, with family members, just, just hearing about the experiences, this and anything to do with, uh, the old noggin in particular and medicine in general, you know, we've made amazing strides and tons of progress, but there are great unknowns in mm-hmm. every area of medicine. So uh, part of the deal is you, you're proactive, but even with months and months down the road, finding out, you obviously have a ticker issue from when you were a baby, uh, dealing with uh, you know, the, the family and uh, having the records is probably going to be helpful for that. But there's a lot that, that uh, unknown. Without, uh, without treating it right away, you would be in dire straits. There's every possibility Correct. that would happen. Correct. Going forward now, yes. uh, even without <laughs> definitive word that this caused it, this caused it, this yeah, caused correct, it, correct, uh, correct. They're, they're putting you on some kind of uh, program. Yeah, so right? I'm on blood thin- uh, statins, um, which is, I, you know, in fairness, I've heard about statins for, for years now. That, and there is a school th- thought that you should be on them regardless. Yep. Because, I'm on one. Um, Are you on one, I Rob? Heard, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. All right. I, I heard about this. Oh. A decade ago, I remember a friend telling me saying like his, it, the people, his father was a cardiologist and he said that we should be on them regardless and even in our thirties, um, because this, this can happen, right? You just right. never know. Um, so I'm on statins. I'm, uh, on a cholesterol lowering medication as well, uh, because my cholesterol wasn't through the roof, but it was high for Elevated. a man my size and, uh, with my body mass. So. And, and they I don't also, know at this stage of the game whether it's something that broke off and correct. you know yeah. caused this little moment. Yes, Every, yes, it can happen. Yes, yes. It, by the way, it can happen to somebody who's a thousand percent healthy. It happens. Yes. That's the way it goes, right? Correct. I mean, that's the, um, that's the way it always, was there a moment of relief for you at all during this process? When they gave you the medication, obviously being able to get some of your uh, diminished capabilities of yeah. speech and the numbness, getting that back had to be a relief. Was there any moment where you went, okay? I get it. It's going to be okay. Did you have that that moment? Not an aha moment, but a but a moment of relief at all during this process. Yes, uh yeah, uh w- so I went I was able to be discharged in the afternoon yesterday uh from the ICU. Um I so my, we had a, a jam day at the office and what made would make me and as I explained to my wife what made me happy what, what would make me happy is 
No, I'm sorry. Two days ago. Mm -hmm. This is what's crazy. I feel like it was just yesterday. Yeah, two days yeah. ago, you're yeah. you're discharged. I had this question yes. is just a very. Uh, I don't want to get in the no, weeds. No, but I'll tell. I'll tell you. I'll tell. But I'll tell Do you. You go when, right like, from the ICU out of the hospital. Do you spend any time in a regular hospital bed? No. Okay. Well, I got it. ICU right I, out to the ICU car. Uber home, um, and and it, I don't want anybody to judge Shannon. I wanted her to be at the office because we had a jam day, um, so I just Ubered home mm -hmm. um, and. Once I got in the house, that's when it hit me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be fine. Yeah, it's huge. Okay. So that's yeah. that's the moment. Uh, yeah. And wow. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, Monday uh, we got enough information where Oscar wasn't going to be here. So it's a, uh, it's a really, really good thing that uh, not only uh, is he back, but he's back and got the treatment going and it's going to uh, – you know, result in a healthier guy. Uh, what did yeah. they say out of curiosity about uh, lifestyle changes for you? They said I had to get on the Mediterranean diet um, and that I need to um, essentially eat healthier, take these meds and start exercising on a regular basis, 30 minutes a day, which I, I think is a great sign considering, you know, I would think the other, uh, the opposite of like, you got to take it easy. No, they're saying I have to yeah. get my heart health up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, did, yeah. Chicken fingers don't do well with the ticker. No, yeah. no. Well, well, Popeyes. Don't bread them. Do well. uh, when I was uh, researching, I did some Googling, of course. I think that's what everyone does when a, a friend or loved one goes through something like yes. this. Did they speak to you at all about hydration? No. No, I, because there's a there's an there's a, a thread through all of them that says if you are dehydrated, where is that? I saw where it on where, where is that? I want some specific evidence. I mean, you said be, that to me, being, and I like being, I knocked back like ten great. liquid IVs after what you said. Do you have I, evidence, doctor, to uh to with hydration? I'm I did not expect this attack. I, um, it is not an attack. <laughs> it is a line of inquiry. I don't have anything specific, but I saw it on more than one website. When you, when you answer like that, I want to be Bobby Knight with you. Is it, <laughs> don't have anything specific. <laughs> I'm Bobby sure there Knight is something. But, it, but, but just it, staying hydrated is important. It, makes, it makes sense in that it actually, you know, if you are underhydrated, your blood Mac, thickens. before we get out of here, please look up hydration and stroke. But anyway, I was just curious if they asked Wait, anything. When you're underhydrated, your blood thickens? Yeah. Yeah, and, and you have Quackery. a sickness for it's the thickness. His, it's his clampet medicine. That's what it is. It's from uh, it's from his relatives up in the uh, you know up in the the cabin. Where that that do, in do the that. cabin? All of my relatives in the cabin. Mike? All, they, yeah, yeah, you got yeah. It's about I know why your tummy hurts. You got a you got a fart stuck crosswise. That's why yeah, that is. That's, that's what it that's is. That's my that's my relatives in the cabin. In the his mountain. body it would not go with him. Yeah, we you, you know we didn't have time to get sick with my family because we were a feudin. <laughs> Do you? It goes without saying that I have to reduce my stress level, right? Yeah, and caffeine so, I'm sure is a one part of it. Yeah, that, yeah. So no, no stimulants. That's what I told my wife. I said, stop no, grilling no, him about no these T-shirts, folks. <laughs> if you didn't get a medium T-shirt, America, uh, you're never going to get. They had, a, they had a moment. Uh, Good luck. They had a moment on Sunday night. I'm sorry. There's guilt in the O'Mara yes. household where oh, no. the night before uh, Carla drove Oscar into the hospital, uh, she was grilling him about uh, T-shirt sales. And uh, and and they had uh, and I had to intervene. And it was terrible. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. These two, Oscar and yes. Carla, uh, the, both of them. Incapable of remorse of any level of any kind whatsoever. Mike, but look not, at what happened to him. That's because inside she, she he was not. a bundle of nerves. And Mike, she, it's not unprecedented. Do you know this is what killed Paul Bailey? And it's a wonderful life. <laughs> Mr. Potter yelled at him. He came home and had a stroke. That's and it. He died. She, she's that's an it. innocent bystander. It just happened to be one of the. Uh, uh, I think she. Actually, I think the think only she pushed, stressful conversation I had mm -hmm. all weekend. Um, you know what? Uh, maybe it is Carla. Yeah. Uh, just kidding. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Pushed you over the edge this, is what she did. This yeah. is. I want to apologize to Rob. Your your blood can become thicker and more viscous when you're dehydrated. Look at this guy. How about that? We, it's all we all talk, That's all we ever talked about in the cabin. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Win.
Or speed yeah. Wait, All right. But why does it break. feel so hollow? It's a, no, I'm very happy for you. I, I God, I'm full of shit. Uh, let's uh, take a break, and uh, we will we will come back. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Ninety percent of the time, yeah. See how many talk show hosts tell you that, huh? That's true. How many yeah. How many Bill O'Reillys tell you that that they're full of s? Stay I hydrated. Own it. Own it. Hydrate. Really. Drink out of the hose. Go for it. Knock yourself out. Uh, we'll take a break, and we will wrap this uh, beautiful show. Happy show today. Back. Uh, back. 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 Uh, all right. Uh, say goodbye to the struggle of finding a place where high quality and cute, cute, I'm cute, I'm cute, uh, coexist. They both high quality, cute. Caden Lane, okay? Let's say Caden is the high quality, cute is the lane. Caden Lane, high quality, cute. Uh, they've cracked the kids for kids' clothes. Caden Lane is on a mission to make mom's lives easier. Caden Lane is a brand that's more than just hype with over 70,000 five-star reviews. 70 thousand or as they say in ireland seventy thousand seventy thousand five-star reviews and millions of satisfied customers experience softness like never before your baby will love that your toddler will love that and add personalization that makes caden lane the ultimate gift rob had him when he was a baby rs right on his uh yes on his little mm-hmm. jumper and they uh, were don't 10 miss out tall. <laughs> on their fun bedtime ritual with their color me pajamas where kids can color their own pjs this is the brand you've been waiting for bringing joy and style to those special moments you'll remember forever uh caden lane is your one-stop shop for all your newborn infant and toddler apparel head to cadenlane.com slash tmos and use code tmos for 20 percent off your order make sure you use that promo promo code TMOS so that they know we sent you. That's what we always need. Uh, back to a very, very yes. happy show for I'm, all of us. We are Rob so Rob just happy. blew my mind, mm-hmm. by the way, with, uh, with the hydration. He said it to me the other day, and I literally, maybe yesterday you said it to me, I and I, so, did, yeah. I did uh, load up on the water because the day before I had not. So uh, yeah, and, and it I concerned had... me because your your caffeine that you drink is not only going to elevate your heart rate. Caffeine, I believe, serves as a diuretic, which is going to dehydrate you. Yes. And I know you pound that stuff. And I was worried. Yeah, I certainly didn't did not drink enough water over the weekend. Yeah. So mm. and I definitely drank Celsius on a regular. Basis. Well, that's it. Now, I mean, that's I can't blame the Celsius. Many, you know? I just have to get it out of my life. Yeah. Though um, these look guys in the grand scheme of things. The fact, as the as the the RN said when I left two days ago, I spent yesterday just resting up. Um, he said, "You should consider yourself fortunate. Most people that get admitted to the ICU are here for a minimum of two weeks to a month. Sometimes, I couldn't believe it when I heard yeah. you were getting out because yeah. usually you don't hear ICU and." I'll see you Thursday in the same message. And it was yeah. just uh, amazing. And I uh, I didn't want to text you. I didn't want to call you. I was getting it all through your wife, who, uh, once again, I just give her all the credit in the world. The first conversation I had when I called her Monday was, you know, she was shaken up. She was shaken mm-hmm. up big time. And just delighted that uh, this has turned out uh, the way it uh, it has turned out. Going forward, uh, the Mediterranean diet, well, reducing caffeine. You had mentioned the exercise portion of things yes. that you're going to keep uh, everything. I worked out uh, this morning. Going, uh, it's just did, did, uh, it's just special. A quick 15 minutes on the treadmill, nothing crazy. You know, enough to start start moving. You know, and it's terrible. We have a recipe, right? We have a recipe to get better. Yes. Yes, mm-hmm. which and is the most important. Thing. With the uh, going forward and your protocol for uh, everything medical. How often? When? Uh, oh, time I'm table. immediately. I'll see a neurologist within two weeks, and then I. That's the old noggin. That's then, the then, then a cardiologist, because what I'm learning is that sometimes what we think is just in, in like from the brain stems from the heart, right? And because I had uh, issues when I was a kid, it could have stemmed from the heart, just ended up happening in the brain. So we have to get to. Uh, we gotta get it. We gotta get to both, essentially, to figure out what's going. You know, on. if you isolated what he just said, it almost sounded like a Wayne Newton quote. What I, we have comes from the heart. Comes from the heart. <laughs> I am so glad that this. Uh, uh, I think we've covered everything. I do have one question 
Uh, I can't help myself. I'm 64 years Please. old. I yeah. come from a different time. It's okay. Whenever I've been in the hospital, yes, and multiple visits, I have to say, uh, as far as the care that you received, hmm, how do I put this in a 20? I had mostly male nurses. Okay, he knows what I was going. That's why I'm glad yes. to have him back. But Both were of you they know hot? How to read my mind. That yeah. you did. I didn't need to go there. I didn't even need to go there. You had to jump in, mouth. You had to go in there and say they were strong and chiseled. I'm yes. interested. And, uh, you yeah. can't fault me for having interest. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, they're all good looking. I, I think if you're if you're a caretaker, there's also a, a certain level of, um, you know, you can't help but like like the person because they're taking care of you. Yeah. And True. as far as. Uh, you know, moving forward uh, with this, uh, the advice given to you by the siblings. I, I know your parents were there with your records. What yes. did they, what did they, anything, uh, any pearls of wisdom that they shared with you? Ah, that, that this is, well, this is the truth. That this is a precursor to a, a full-blown s- stroke. Okay. Uh, traditionally, that I need to make these changes so I don't ever have another one of these or a full blown stroke. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is, the, the upside is that there's something that's completely manageable. Oh, that's great. And that's great. Gotta, well, we, have we to are keep thrilled. Pushing. We love you, buddy. Yeah. And we are so here, glad here. Uh, to have you back. Um, yeah. I, I, and be your own advocate. Mm-hmm. Like, Always. It doesn't, I don't care if you're at the club. I'm talking about like the golf club or the social club or with your friends hanging out and you don't want to like some people just get wrapped up in like, I don't want to inconvenience anybody. If you feel anything like this, the faster you get to an ER, the, the higher probability that you will have the outcome that we're looking at right now. You know, uh, wide eyed seniors down here on golf courses, uh, be aware if you're out there and you're dealing with somebody or if somebody's got an issue, uh, if this person is not capable of being their own advocate, this applies to you guys yes. too. Mm-hmm. Not the person all, always that's having it, like Oscar was his own advocate, thank God, uh, but the people that are close to them, be fast, yeah. all right? Balance, eyes, face, arms, speech, time, all of that uh, matters, and we are so, so happy yeah. that uh, to yeah. have you back. We really, really are. Rob, did I'm, you want to say something? Yeah, I'm just curious when they – You've spent a lot of time on the golf course with these oldsters. Mm-hmm. Do they ever take a one-stroke penalty? Very good. Thank you very much. On that <laughs> note, uh, we will uh, take our leave. Uh, we will be back with a uh, Yup for Bonus show tomorrow. Yes. yes. Uh, we'll yeah. be at we have one more show, and then i got to talk to you about everything you included and me and everything, okay? <laughs> everything is right now, all right? Hold it. Pause. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I'm not taking no for that. I'll tell you when. Understand. Uh, we will take a break and be back tomorrow with a bonus hour. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for the Patreon. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for buying the stickers. And we are yes. very, very excited to have our boy Oscar. And we love Oscar. We love Shannon. We love Yoli. We love Dad uh, and Dr. Berger. God bless you. Any time she wants to come on and talk about this because this is something we need to get out there. Everybody should know about that. We'll be back tomorrow for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. I made it through without getting verklempt. All my tears were shed this week for Jon Stewart's dog. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow. So long, everybody. (laughs) Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Marabona Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. (laughs) 